Mr. Suleka, working with the Department of Physics in Pratyusha Engineering College. Today, I am going to briefly give the introduction about crystals and crystal structure. First of all, we should understand what is the need to study about these crystals. Crystals are the pillars of modern technology. Without crystals, there is no electronic industry, no photonic industry, no semiconductor industry. So now we can understand how much crystals are important to human life. In the very ancient time, the beauty and morphology of the ice crystals made, or I should say, fascinated human beings. So they started studying about the crystals. So right from the sugar crystal we consume and the salt we consume in our food, even that is a crystal. And we are carrying the crystal every day in our watches also in the form of a quartz crystal. Such important crystals, how much it is manifested to human beings. So we will have a small a brief introduction on the crystal structures. So initially, let us know what is a crystal. Crystals, <coughs> crystals are nothing but they are very closely packed solids having regular arrangement. Even we, we can say solids. Solids are basically classified into two types. One is crystalline, the other one is amorphous. Crystalline solids only will have regular arrangement of atoms. Say for example, you have atoms A, B, C. How the atoms will be arranged will be A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Or it will be B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A. Whereas in an amorphous solid, if you see, the atoms will be arranged as A, C, B, B, C, A, A, B, C. So you have irregular arrangement of atoms. But the only common feature connecting both your amorphous and crystals is that they are very tightly and closely packed. Okay, so our crystals, the other, there is one excellent beauty of crystal that is when you break a crystal, the broken piece will always resemble the mother piece. So for example, you have a cubic crystal. So you can see here, these are the corner atoms. So totally if you see, there are four corner atoms here, four corner atoms here. Totally eight corner atoms makes up a crystal structure, simple cubic structure. So here, if I'm going to break a piece, the small broken piece will also be a cube. So that cube is again representing your parent crystal. So this is about a simple cubic crystal. Here we have four important parameters. Number of atoms per unit cell, atomic radius, coordination number and packing factor. So we can calculate the packing density. Why we have to study all these parameters is that once we calculate the crystal parameters, it is very useful for human beings to apply in any industry purposes. So for example, we are able to calculate packing density. From here we can study about the strength of the material, how much atoms are packed, how dense it is and what is the mechanical hardness of this crystal. So all these studies are being useful for us only from after studying the basic crystal parameters. The next structure is the BCC structure. So here if you see, again four corner atoms we have, the four corner atoms this side, four corner atoms this side and in the center we have a BCC atom. So the corner atom touches each other only through this BCC atom. We should imagine a hollow cube, in the center you have a body centered cubic crystal. So this is the body centered cubic atom, BCC atom which we see. So particularly what you have to remember is, in this crystal structure we have two types of atoms namely the 8 corner atoms and one BCC atom. The next one is the FCC atom. So this is FCC crystal means face centered cubic crystal. So here again we have two types of atoms. One is the corner atom, the other one is the FCC atom. The orange colored ones which we can see is nothing but they are all corner atoms. So the how many orange atoms are here? 8 orange atoms are here. So 8 corner atoms are there. And in the center, exactly the center of all these orange atoms, we can see pink colored atoms. These pink colored ones are nothing but face centered cubic atoms, FCC atoms. Totally in the cube we know we have six phases in the cube. So every phase is accommodated with one corner atom, with one FCC atom. So totally six FCC atoms are here. So again for this structure we can study the number of atoms per unit cell, coordination number, packing factor and the atomic radius. This is again useful for the future studies. The next one is a HCP structure. In a HCP structure if you see, it is not like a cubical crystal. See all your BCC, FCC and simple cubic, they are all cubic in nature. But this is not cubic. It is going to be having a hexagonally closely packed structure. This is what we say it as HCP. So here again the orange colored ones are nothing but corner atoms. You have one center atom, it is pink colored one. This we call it as BCC atom. So we have two BCC atoms here. 
we have two BCC atoms. In the center we have yellow colored atoms. These yellow colored atoms are nothing but middle atoms. They are situated inside your HCP structure. It is a hexagonally packed structure where you have totally 6 plus 6, 12 corner atoms, 1 plus 1, 2 base centered atom and 3 middle atoms. The yellow colored ones are middle atoms. This is how the structure is being defined for a HCP crystal. So these crystal structures on calculating the parameters we are able to uh, we are able to identify the mechanical strength of the full crystal. 